in the heart and on the lips of Our Lady comes a very simple and humble message. One, though, that is most fitting and appropriate for the season of Advent and forever. Our Lady says, Pursue peace always. Pursue peace always in your heart and in your mind and in your soul. Pursue peace always. First with God, then within your own family, in your community, and in the world. Pursue peace always. In my book that I wrote, A Call to Trust, there's a message that from the Lord that backs that up and I think we'll find very encouraging. Again, very simple. Jesus says, Always strive to be at peace, to be peaceful, and to spread my compassion, thus helping others to feel peaceful. In all things know that I am always with you. You are mine, Jesus Christ. Pursue peace always, with all of our hearts, with all of our minds, with all of our souls. Well, the Prince of Peace we know is Jesus Christ. Pursuing him always, but also pursuing a peacefulness in our hearts and in our minds and in our souls. With God first, it's paramount in these times. Throughout the history, Our Lady has continuously asked us to pray for peace in very, very trying times, oftentimes on the threshold of catastrophic situations. There is a catastrophic situation at hand, and it is the attack on the family. Our Lady is encouraging us, entrusting us, begging us with all of our heart to first find peace with God. Is there anyone here who can say they are totally at peace with God in how they worship, in how they pray, in how they live, we lead our lives. Can anybody raise their hands to that, that you're perfectly satisfied? Perfectly satisfied, doing it perfectly. Well, I'm probably going straight to heaven. But most of us, most of us, if not almost all of us, are not there yet. We could always love God harder. We certainly all need in this busy world to spend more time with God, to avail ourselves to the sacrament of reconciliation as easily as we do the Holy Eucharist, as the Lord has said. Not one of us really are totally in the best possible position that we really need to be. There's definitely room for growth for all of us. Until we take our last breath, we should be pursuing God with all of our heart, mind, body, and soul in these critical times, within the families, within the community, in our world, 
the only way that we will obtain this peacefulness is, is if we take that, that time that we need to have with God and help to cultivate the relationship with him. Just like the bishop said, none of us can do it really. Not but without the grace of God. We can't. It is only with and by the grace of God that we can truly remain peaceful in difficult and trying times within our own hearts, in our families, in our communities, and in our world. There's definitely a great, great need for peace. I don't know what God has in his mind. We now just heard a little bit of what Our Lady is, is asking of us. And so this is something that is very doable. This is something we can all work at. And we begin just a little bit at a time, a little bit more than whatever you're doing right now. Do something a little bit more. If you go to Holy Mass once a week, try going in an extra time or two. If you're a daily communicant, try going just a little bit earlier to Mass, maybe 10, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, just to have some silence. Silence is prayer, too. Silence is it's critical to our relationship with God. We need to have that silent time. And in any situation where peace is critical, silence oftentimes is the answer, right? Sometimes it's best just to be silent and not to engage, but always, always pursue peace. Even if someone doesn't agree with you, everyone appreciates kindness, everyone. And as it has been said, if we must choose between being right or being kind, let's choose kindness. Kindness, forgiveness. We need to have forgiving hearts without boundaries, without demands, without all of the stuff. We just need to know where we're headed. And we're all headed, God willing, in the same direction. We're striving, we're striving, and we're headed towards heaven, God willing. Not one of us knows when that time is going to be, so it's critical that we pursue not only the Prince of Peace, but in every possible situation, pursue peacefulness in relationships, in our families. Be that person of peace. Be that forgiving heart. And if forgiveness is not being extended to you, then turn to the cross of Jesus Christ and give him your heart. Give him your pain. He gets it. Jesus gets it. Our Lady gets it. She's interceding. She's never standing still. It doesn't matter what somebody else does, if they're forgiving, if they're not forgiving. All that matters is what you're doing, what I'm doing. If we're pursuing happiness, that's all, I'm sorry, pursuing peacefulness, there will be happiness. But if we are pursuing peacefulness, God will take care of the rest. He has to take care of his people. That's not our obligation. Our obligation to God and to get into heaven is to do the right thing day by day, especially in this very grace-filled time of Advent. Pursue peacefulness. Pursue peace. God bless us. God bless our families. God bless America. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.